The Rowan Virtual Reality Lab at the South Jersey Technology Park utilizes commercial, off-the-shelf products to create visualizations and simulations. The lab team is capable of rapidly creating VR environments for desktops, laptops, head-mounted devices, large-scale cave systems, and mobile or tablet devices. The team was charged with creating an objective-based training system for the VRC Gen 3 system. This includes powder preparation, system setup, substrate preparation, and virtual cold spraying. A virtual reality environment requires immersion, interaction, and navigation. To provide the immersive experience, the team crafted 3D models to represent cold spray preparation and application. To provide the user with an immersive and interactive experience, the Rowan VR Lab designed and printed a replica of a cold spray gun for use in the simulation. For most of our VR applications, we use a remote controller such as this one here. However, for the cold spraying experience, to properly replicate it, we thought bringing it from the virtual world into the real world would provide a better experience. So we 3D printed the cold spray gun and we modified it so that it could be tracked by the cave by adding these markers here. We also embedded some electronics in the handle so that um, the trigger actually works and will trigger the spraying in the cold spray simulation. The simulator has been designed to be deployed across computers, laptops, head-mounted displays, and large-scale virtual reality devices. At Rowan, we utilize a 10-sided cylindrical VR system providing a mixed virtual reality experience. Users are able to bring in real equipment and interact with the environment. The user can don protective equipment for the cold spray process. Then, using the specially designed cold spray gun, the user can interact with the substrate and build up the surface. While the simulation will monitor progress and objectives, the team wanted to provide a system that could be taken outside of the VR environment. So with the simulation, we needed a way for the user to be able to keep track of their progress. To do this, we developed an app. This would allow them to use their cell phone or tablet to mark off the objectives that they have completed, as well as provide them more information on the ones that they haven't completed. This provides a more realistic experience in the simulation, as well as this app could then be brought into the real world for a practical application. Inside the simulation, the user can select items such as powders, nozzles, and substrates. They are guided by an objective system that moves them along from task to task. Silhouettes appear at locations of interest to remind the user where objects should be placed. The powder feeder can be disassembled and filled with differing powders. Future potential for this project includes adding other cold spray systems, emulation or direct connection of cold spray system functionality to the virtual world would allow trainees to change system settings such as temperature and see the resultant outcomes. This would provide a powerful training tool for anyone interested in cold spray technology.